Welcome to the channel guys, we are back again and today I'm going to be talking about the top three fragrances that I tried in January, so stay tuned for that. And if you like top 10 lists, cologne comparisons, fragrance reviews, and first impressions, hit that subscribe button for more great content. So I'm going to be honest with you, this was actually not the greatest month for, I guess, trying new fragrances. Some months I, you know, I try a lot of fragrances and it's really great. There's a lot of choices and things to choose from that I really, really enjoyed. And other months, like this last month, it was a bit of a struggle. So usually I talk about three fragrances. I'm really going to trim it down to two uh, because there were only two that really, I guess, really stood out to me and really, um, really turned into fragrances that I really, really enjoyed. Um, that being said, I could or will throw up two honorable mentions. Um, because they were good, but I, you know, I didn't really love them, um, in either way. Um, the first one was Hyrax by Zoologist. This one, um, you know, I actually was surprised by how wearable it, it is. To me, I thought it was going to be one that smelled a lot like a bathroom or something like that, especially because I had heard about how intensely animalic it is. It does certainly have an animalic vibe to it. But I, I didn't find it anything near to be what I thought it would be in that regards. In some ways that was a good thing, in other ways that was a bad thing. Um, but it is definitely one worth checking out, especially if you want something with a little bit more of an animalic vibe than, say, uh, Civet by Zoologist has. And it is worth checking out. It's very nice and actually quite wearable. But again, I thought it was going to smell like a bathroom. It does not. So it is really well, nicely done. Next one is also from Zoologist, and that is Musk Deer. Um, you know, I did actually kind of like this fragrance. It does have this nice, um, sort of, not fresh, but open air kind of a quality to it, outdoors without smelling overly green. There's a little bit of a, a musky animalic vibe with the ambrette in that one as well, and it is really, really well crafted. Um, you know, like pretty much every zoologist fragrance is, and I think it's a, it's a unique fragrance, but ultimately, I guess for me, it wasn't one that... You know, I really, really loved or really, you know, that I just really loved. But it, it is a nice fragrance and, you know, for Zoologist fans or people who are looking for a nice, easy, clean, musky fragrance, Musk Deer is certainly one that fits that bill. It has a very nice wearable profile. I think it's one that's going to offend very few people. It does have a nice, uh, slightly animalic twist to it um, that gives it a little bit of intrigue as well. But um, those are the honorable mentions. Now, like I said, usually I do three fragrances. I decided to give two honorable mentions mostly because I'm not doing, this is just the top two. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into the list. So the first one, uh, Goldfield and Banks Bohemian Lime. Now, I was actually pretty excited to try this fragrance. Um, because I do like, for some reason, Goldfield and Banks just seems like an interesting brand to me. Maybe it's the aesthetic. Um, I do like their bottle design. I do like the overall presentation, even though it is fairly simple and straightforward. Um, and, and it's funny because I wasn't a huge fan of, um, Pacific Rock Moss. Uh, if you like, or if you're looking for a fresh, somewhat aquatic fragrance that definitely is different and is super easy to wear. You can spray as much as you want. And, um, you know, people around you are generally gonna like. I think it's a fragrance for people that don't really like perfume, and that's one thing that's nice about it, right? You can wear it anytime and people are gonna like it. But Bohemian Lime, um, you know, it's definitely different in that respect. It is still very mass appealing, I think. It, it has a very prominent lime note. Um, and in fact, I find the lime to be very dominant for three or four hours easily. It is a very, very strong fragrance uh, with that respect, and it does perform a lot better than Pacific Rock Moss. So I would say this one gets between that six to eight hour mark for me. And for a fresher fragrance, I think that's actually really quite, um, that's totally acceptable in my opinion. But it has this really, really nice, I think it's like, a, you know, it's something, it's some Australian key lime or something like that. So it is a note that is from you know australia and it does have a nice vibe to it so it's a little bit different than something say uh, like the lime that you get in um virgin island water for example or the clones i actually really like um 
Hawaiian Volcano Intense by Alexandria Fragrances, which has an even more pumped up lime note. And this has a very strong lime note, but that lime does smell, does smell a little bit different. And it is nicely done in that regard. So I do really enjoy that about it. Now, I think the one thing that I didn't like about it is the lime is so intense for so long um, that it does become a little overbearing at times. So I did find that one thing about it. And after the lime starts to really dissipate and you get into a sort of deeper dry down, it just kind of was not the best, but I did overall really like this fragrance. Um, and I'm gonna have to do a full review on this one. I know a couple of people said they wanted to see that and I wanna do a full review of it definitely before spring, summer um, to see if it's something I would actually put on a top 10 list. But Bohemian Lime, Goldfield and Banks. Definitely worth checking out. Now the top one, I was very surprised by this one and it took me a little while to really digest this one, um, but I did really like it. And that was Reeve Nui by Navitus. Now this one to me uh, was quite unique, quite original. Um, and I think that's one thing I really liked about it. It opens up, you know, with this sort of really fresh, I think it's Neroli, but something about it reminds me a little bit of lavender, even though that's not a uh, you know, listed note does have this really fresh, nice um, vibe to it. And it does have that really nice quality there too with that sort of prickly feeling Neroli. Um, and then it quickly goes into this sort of citrusy, creamy accord. And that is something that I think has a certain sensuality about it that I really like. Um, it does make it something that's really enjoyable to smell. So it is sort of like this very nice creamy um, citrusy thing and like I said there is something about that citrus uh, in that vibe that does sometimes remind me a little bit of lime um, which I do like lime notes um, but you get this kind of it's it's strange because it does actually even in the opening remind me a little bit of a barbershop fragrance and so you get this kind of like barbershop creamy vibe which is really really nice and original so somebody I forget what the fragrance um, that they said it I sounded like I was describing, but it apparently it does. Some, there is some discontinued fragrance that it's similar to, but I really couldn't verify that fact. But very nice. Um, and as that goes on, you know, it, it does move into some elements of a sort of light spiciness. Um, and there is this nice sort of citrus accord that does last a really long time along with that creaminess. And then it dries down into a, a really nice um, sensual sort of slightly sweet fragrance. And again, really nicely done. So that one partially because, you know, partially it, it caught me off guard. I didn't think it was going to be as nice as it is. The other one, Soleil Matin, is nice, but I guess this one, Reef Nui, was definitely more unique smelling to me and something that really sort of, I guess, captured my imagination a little bit and something that spoke to me a little bit more. Performance is also good. So it is one that I think... You know, it's not beast mode by any means, but it is sort of designed to be a little bit more of a date fragrance, which I think it does have a little bit of that sensual vibe that uh, works for that. Um, so I, it's not a beast mode fragrance, but it does certainly have some nice performance to it. Um, longevity wise, like I said, it does push towards that eight hour mark for sure, which is nice, but it's not beast mode projector. It has a nice sillage um, and it, do it does project a little bit, don't get me wrong, but it's not a room filler by any means. So that's it guys. Those are the fragrances I really enjoyed last month. Not the best month for fragrance try or for fragrances that I tried out, but I am looking forward to this upcoming month. I have a lot of samples to work through. Uh, I'm gonna try and do some more reviews on the Gallery of Parfums because I do have samples of those. I also have to get through some of the samples of the Big Beard Business Fragrances, see which ones I like, see which ones I'm gonna uh, really talk about with you guys. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to that. And I do have a lot of samples from other niche brands that I'm also looking forward to trying. I think I'm probably going to do like a top five or top 10 from Galleria and uh, Navitus, put them together. They are different brands, but they are also the same investors, but they're all also kind of the same theme too, uh, which is, you know, YouTuber fragrances, YouTubers that were sort of the creative directors of the brand and see what, uh, see what comes out of that. And I think it'll be a fun video to make. But um, let me know in the comments down below, are there any fragrances that you're really looking forward to trying this month? Are there any fragrances that you really, really enjoyed 
last month, let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if there's anything you think I should check out or want me to check out, let me know. Anyways, guys, that's it for this one. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.